<clears throat> it's 8 o'clock. Where are all my clappers? Where's my Viva Peru? There it is. This is becoming a nightly ritual here. Um, at 8 o'clock, the mandatory curfew from 8 to 5 goes into place. And uh, as a show of uh, really a beautiful camaraderie, they, got, they start clapping, they start getting the party going. Viva Peru! Viva Peru! Okay, that's me, but I'm seeing if anybody else will join in in the party. Come on now, let's get the party going. Let's get a little of that morale going here, folks. We are Peruvian, and we're trying to show the love. Viva Peru! I'm really trying to sound Peruvian. There we go. There goes another Viva Peru. Viva Peru! This is really fun. It's a really boring day here. Woo! Sometimes you gotta be the guy that starts the fire. Like the last guy clapping contest. They need to do the Peru thing. Da 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 da. Peru. Peru. Oh God, you could hear all the other. It's becoming a beautiful nightly tradition. <laughs> These people these people locked in for eight days I haven't heard one bad thing First night this happened, it was so spontaneous, and I'm not gonna lie, I cried. There we go, I know that voice. It's like prison, man. You can hear him hollering out. <laughs> I know that woman's voice. Viva Peru! I've seen a lot of things in my life, and I've heard a lot of things, but after the tension on the very first day, on the very first time, this lockdown really went into place and the military hit the streets. It was one of the most beautiful things in the world. And I was quiet while other people clapped. But it made me feel so connected. We're in scary times, but I'm with brave people and the people of Peru. <laughs> They've stolen my heart.